Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your mid-month April tarot reading. This is a reading for all Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to all of you for all the support, as usual. I send you love and appreciation every single day. I think about you every day. And if you are new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, just come back in a couple of days. Don't ever try to make it make sense. Friday's readings are always a general reading. So those will bring in aspects of money, moving, career, love, whatever you're asking about. Mondays are a different style every week. Today's reading will be a detailed Celtic cross style reading. Next week, it'll be something entirely different. Later in the month of April, I am going to be doing a four-month predictive reading for the months of May through August, which I don't do very often. So if you haven't subscribed yet, you might want to do that and even hit the bell to be notified so that you don't miss that one. All right, what advice do you have for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Sagittarius need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Sagittarius? Messages for Sagittarius, please. Okay. <clears throat> we will start here with the tarot, then we'll have the angel answers. Current situation, we've got the Page of Cups. The immediate influence is the Knight of Pentacles. You have the Page of Pentacles in your subconscious, the Eight of Swords in the distant past, Judgment in the more recent past. You have the Devil coming towards you. You're represented by the Ace of Cups. The Five of Swords is the person or situation that you're attracting. You've got the Queen of Wands and your hopes and fears. Eight of Wands and the outcome, I like it. Now the bottom of the deck, you've got two fives here plus the High Priestess. I feel like they're telling you to trust your instincts about moving on from a situation. We have three fives overall, and so fives are all about adapting. They can also be a means to an end, too. So I do feel like with somebody here, that five of swords, in terms of a new person that you're attracting, or even if it's a job situation, I feel like they're trying to be done with conflict. It's like these fives are, I just see almost like an exit door and them being just pushed out an invisible hand saying, we're done with this crap. So you have here three major arcana. We have Capricorn here. We have the Archangel Gabriel. We have earth, air, fire, water, all the elements. So I do feel like with this five of pentacles, it is about moving on for your best and highest good, whether it's a friendship or a job where you've said, it's time for me, me to move on. This is just not getting organized in the way that they had, they had, said they would do or you know something about this promised is the word I was kind of searching for there something that they've been saying they were going to do it just hasn't happened and so I do see somebody is moving on with that five of pentacles and if it's a relationship too because you've got new aspects for love with that ace of cups page of cups now for somebody too it may even be with a new love it could be somebody you already know that's in the cards here so I feel like that in terms of love interest something's going to move along swimmingly is what they keep saying. I don't, again, I don't know why. Um, but with that high priestess energy, that's saying trust yourself. Okay, no second guessing here. The, the wonderful thing about the high priestess is you know who you are. This is where you're very centered. And so especially around all this chaotic five energy, it is about meditating, quieting the mind, getting yourself away from the chaos. I even see somebody like getting in their own car. If you're going out to your car to eat lunch at work, so you can take a break or something like that, even if it's at your own freaking house. I see somebody like really saying, I just need a minute to um, be by myself because this is too much chaos. So with the high priestess energy, the good news about that is she's law of attraction energy. You have that a few different times here, bringing heaven to earth, but it's also an energy that is going to get you in flow with that eight of wands and the outcome. Everything's going to start moving forward and it's going to feel wonderful, especially if the cast has been lingering for a while. You've been given lots of chances. But with the high priestess, I also feel like you get enough information with that eight of wands to make it all make sense so that you're not 
you know, ruminating and trying to go back over details in your mind to try to figure out if this was or wasn't the right thing to do. I do feel like it's about moving forward. And with the high priestess, you'll know there's an inner knowing there. Prima materia matter comes from the mind. So I definitely feel like this will be a cycle where, where you'll manifest. So the page of cups here, I love this page. I really like them with the page of wands, but those two tend to get into trouble. So the Knight of Pentacles might be a little bit better complement in this energy because that knight, the yellow in the background, you've got it with the yellow robe of the Queen of Wands here too, which I really like. But all that yellow, it indicates blessings coming in, gifts. You have it with the Page of Pentacles as well. <clears throat> so with that Knight of Pentacles, it's all about getting yourself centered, taking in the details, if it's a job move, you don't just impulsively walk off the job or go home one weekend and decide you're never coming back. The Page of Cups might have an inkling to do that, but you won't be doing that in this energy. So you may have sort of, a as those of you that are going to be planning a move to go somewhere else in a job, then we'll talk about relationships. With that Knight of Pentacles, you'll make sure that things are secure, especially if you're the one who kept getting given the runaround. That's what I got. Like they, they kept trying to... They couldn't fix what they were trying to fix is the problem. And so it's like they were giving people the runaround. And I feel like it's not just you. I feel like you're in good company as far as moving on, even if it's bittersweet. And you're like, God, I really wanted that to work out, though. Um, because with that Knight of Pentacles, it's going to offer you a lot more stability, centeredness, focus. And it's going to move forward. So the Knight gets centered, gets ready, and then takes off running. So it's not just standing still. Now, in a relationship with these two, they bring in the best of both worlds. I might even call this the best of both worlds because it's there's something about this. There's a turning point coming in. And so with the, the Page of Cups, that's going to bring in some more spontaneity. But it's also in terms of a relationship, somebody who's going to really understand you. It's somebody who's gentle in a way. They have a fun side to them, but a really loving, kind heart. And so they may be somebody who likes to joke around a lot, but not at somebody else's expense. They're, they've got Knight of Pentacles too in there. And the Knight of Pentacles would never, ever do that. This is somebody who, again, likes to have fun, but they're not doing it in a way that would be hurtful at all. And they offer real love. So with the Page of Pentacles being in your subconscious, you're going to pull in new opportunities to make money here. So you've got that long-term money coming in with the Knight. But with the page too, you might sharpen your skill set a little bit. And so those of you, if you're doing some kind of home renovation or home improvement, might be a better word. Renovation's a little strong. That sounds architectural, doesn't it? Home improvement projects. Here's where you start researching and rolling up your own sleeves and saying, you know what? I think I'm going to learn about this. I even get it for somebody with gardening and growing, um, like having like a vegetable. If you do something in a co-op, because this looks like, I think that's what it's called. This almost looks like a community garden kind of a thing that I'm seeing. But again, it, whatever it is, it brings in joy. Look at the way he holds up that pentacle. It's like you with your, you know, strawberries or cucumbers in the summer. It's that kind of feeling. But also, too, with this, in a relationship, it's being adored. So in a new relationship is what I get. Now, if you're in one already, it doesn't mean that that's, you know, going to end or it's just not doing anything. It's still being in that place where you're admired, adored. And really with this person, they have a great curiosity. This is not somebody who wants to ever change you. It's, it's like they... <laughs> They find an interest in understanding other people's quirks, for lack of a better word. Not that I'm trying to call you quirky, because the Page of Pentacles, that would be the really quirky character in all of this. Um, but I do feel like they, they, want to, they want to have understanding. So in the distant past, we had something stagnant. I like the position of this because it's in the past. So for some, I feel like if you were trapped in a relationship or a job a little too long... I feel like it was this. I mean, this is guilt. The watery energy is like she's afraid to cross over that watery energy. So she just stands paralyzed in fear. But it's a self-imposed prison with this Eight of Swords. And so with this, it can be one of those things where you may have said, I don't know what to do in my life. I just can't see things. I'm not sure where to go. And so with this, it really is second guessing and kind of making the position more precarious than it needed to be. So with this, it suggests that there was a way out, and I do feel like you're taking it. 
And with the Eight of Wands, I'm sure that you're taking it because talk about opposing energies. So whatever confusion you had here, whatever options you didn't see, judgment comes in just at the right time. <coughs> Pardon me on that. So this is the energy here that I feel like you're headed straight for. Um, in terms of a relationship too, I do feel like you have somebody who thinks about you quite a bit. Uh, but I do feel like it's in a very healthy way. You've got the devil coming in, but I don't feel like it's obsession or something that would ever want to restrict or trap you. But because especially with the energy of judgment, it's ascension. It's rising out of the coffins of the ego. The devil is referred to ego in some decks. This is self-mastery. So I feel like whatever you were not sure about with the Eight of Swords, information comes in that helps you make that decision. If you're not quite there, because again, this is sacred divination. I mean, the placement of the cards is not exactly exact, of course. I mean, it's close. But so anyway, so if you haven't quite felt this Archangel Gabriel blowing the horn of ascension, it's a tipping point. So those of you who have been wondering or trying to make a decision, here's where your decision comes in. But there's celebration. So there's no downside to this. I mean, there's, no, there's not one character here that decides to stay in the coffin. They all rise out. So it's a decision that moves things forward for you. So in terms of a relationship too, though, that also moves things forward. Those of you that have been wondering, what are we doing with this? Well, here's your answer with judgment. Well, the devil comes in and the devil is about limitations and breaking old cycles because the tower comes right after the devil. So for some of you, <clears throat> I do feel like this is understanding the shadow aspects of yourself. We don't ever want to shy away from that because when we have self-mastery, like in judgment, we understand exactly who we are. So I feel like there's a connection there for sure in terms of understanding old patterns. But I also get too, though, in terms of a relationship, feeling that, that feeling of this person does think about you quite a bit. So if you're wondering about that, the answer is yes. Hell yes, they do. You're always on their mind. Isn't that... um? Oh, Willie um, Nelson, right? It's that kind of stuff where they're like thinking about you. Songs remind them of you. And, you know, it's like they pass by anything and they can make a connection to you because you're in their heart and it's all from love. I just don't get anything negative about this relationship whatsoever. <clears throat> Pardon me. So with the Ace of Cups here, you've got that new energy coming in and this is where things feel great. So in a new job, it's really that freedom of judgment coupled with the Ace of Cups where it feels effortless. It feels like this is like almost a, a second family where people respect you and where people are going to be honest about what's going on. Again, I don't feel like the dishonesty of those of you that have been waiting with those fives and saying, I just can't stay in this waiting game. I have to move forward. Um, I don't feel like it was done out of malice as much as their own incompetence. They could not fix the situation is what I keep getting. They thought they could do it and they couldn't. And so instead of just communicating, they just kept trying. So with the Ace of Cups, you're moving on to something that has a lot better potential and flow. And of course, in relationships, this is true love. It is love that evolves and grows as the two of you grow together. So the Five of Swords, I picked this up right in the beginning, that you're moving on from a situation, but I also get it as their energy in terms of a person you're attracting who does not want to have conflict. And I also feel like too, even in a job, they're picking you because they believe that you are a great fit. They they want your help. So I feel like if whatever is moving on back here, that's just going to be moving on. I just don't see a return. So with the, the queen of wands here, <clears throat> you and your own energy, I mentioned before with this yellow gown, she is in, you, you will be radiating inner beauty with this. It's a card of great loyalty, charisma. This is great for anybody who has to teach. If you have to give presentations, it's a, she's like a teacher, a motivational speaker, a lecturer. And so with this, people kind of fall at her feet. So don't be surprised. We say with the queen of wands, I don't want it to, to scare you, but she almost attracts worshipers. So with this, I do feel like you're going to be feeling in your power and really feeling like things are going to move forward and move forward with flow. So talk about things rushing in. Speaking of which, <coughs> pardon me again, the Eight of Wands. This will definitely have communication and information right at your fingertips.
So with the love relationships, you may find that it moves very, very quickly into something serious. So get ready for that. This can be braced for change, but the change is thrilling. Let's see here, Sagittarius, what the angels have to say for you. What else does Sagittarius need to know, please? Messages for Sagittarius. What advice do you have for Sagittarius, please? Messages for Sagittarius. Big happy changes. That doesn't surprise me. You're going to be walking free here. Ask your angels. Ask because they want to communicate with you and tell you. Be assertive. So with that fiery energy and the outcome, you may not have a choice. And they say within the next few weeks, and we've got there something better. So when you ask, ask for this or something better, especially if you feel like you're not quite in the energy of judgment because you have change coming. But good things are on the way for you, Sagittarius. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.